All right. Shalom Rastafari. This is the continuation of uh of um Nanny. You know, Bloomberg, the nanny state and this whole uh sugary the hypocrisy of um Bloomberg and of the um um neo Malthusians and globalists. Right? It seems innocent enough on the surface. You know what I mean? Um let's ban this let's let's stop smoking let's the lead paint issue and even the lead paint issue and, and when I saw him on today's uh, CBS um, morning news he said he said it he had to say Gail uh, Gail what's her name said um um you're stinging about this he said yes he's stinging about it now I just noticed this article right here where the so-called um, NAACP they they say that um, New York City Mayor Bloomberg's uh, Big gulp ban is racist. Oh, 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 really now? You know, oh, really now that that this is racist. They didn't say anything about the gun ban, right? They didn't say anything about the the whole thing about gun rights, gun control. Um, I think they were forced to say a little something about stop and fricks. I, I got to go over that again. But here they're basically saying that well, Bloomberg is um. Is, is racist. I, I'm not going to even kind of countenance that. No, no, no doubt that race does play a role, but he's at least savvy enough, enough coming from the whole business sector and being the sort of individual with the sort of control that he has, being the sort of globalist. And make no doubt about it, Bloomberg is a a, a globalist. He is a um, a neo Malthusian, right? Even though it might seem to some that well, he's here, um, he's here um, trying to help folks out, trying to help them live longer. You know, he's being your nanny. So now he's he's picked this particular issue, right? He's picked this particular issue now about. Um, Banning drinks, you know, banning serving sizes. Let's go to this right here. Banning serving sizes above uh, 16 uh, fluid ounces, right? Above 16 fluid ounces. So that anything above that, if Bloomberg were to um, get his way, such as this um, this big gulp, you understand, will be banned. Because they are high in sugar, they cause, according to Bloomberg, they cause health problems and they lead to obesity, even though a lot of that has been debunked as well. So for a moment you say, well, we know that those of us who are not um, soda heads anymore and those of us who had to, you know, who have weeded off of that and become wise to, you know, a lot of these products, like even the so-called diet, you know, the diet um, um, soft drinks. They have the aspartame, right, the as aspartame, the aspartame, aspartame, and, and these artificial um, um, genetically modified um, organisms and artificial flavorings, but you have not heard a peep out of it. So what's really going on here with what Michael Bloomberg is doing is basically a smokescreen. It's basically a smokescreen, making him seem like somebody who really cares about the health of people, while him and ones like Bill Gates, you've got to check out Bill Gates on the um, – Bill Gates and Bloomberg on Charlie Rose show, just uh, – a couple of days ago, I think it was like last week or so, March 2013, because when you see them talking, right, they're all about these vaccinations, like these forced vaccinations, forcing people, even though many parents are resisting it, they still force, right, vaccination because they say they're doing this all in the name of your health, they're looking out for you. They're looking out for your family. They're looking out for you. No, they are looking out for themselves, and they are using this particular issue, right? They're using, you see, here in New York, we see this a lot. You know, I mean, right after um, the courts, the, the, the New York, I think, Supreme Court basically overturned 
what Bloomberg and his um, self-appointed um, health department it has no it, what is the democracy it has nothing to do with what the people actually want where where do the people get their choice about it why don't this particular why doesn't he make this particular issue you know come up for a vote I mean if we really are living in a so-called democracy and, and that point right there has been you know beat over the head enough really we, we're not in a democracy Right? The only thing, democracy that we're in, we're in a kind of a democracy kind of mind control. They keep saying that, oh, we got these freedoms, so forth and so on. And I think a very key indication is how Bloomberg and his buddies sought to push this uh, sugary drinks um, ban through as a matter of health and public policy. So, it was surprising to us, and perhaps it's, it was also surprising to um, Doomberg, I mean Bloomberg, that the um, courts overturned that. But you know for sure he's, he's rallying his forces, he's, he's going, stepping out ahead of the issue. And so we've been seeing this a lot. They'll show you um, unidentified obese people, overweight people, and they'll say, well, the reason is what they're eating. You know, like the whole thing about the trans fats, so forth and so on. And forcing, notice this, forcing these um, bans, but never really dealing with the content of things, right? Never dealing with the content of things, you know, such as, well, what kind of sugar? See, they're not speaking about what kind of sugar and what's really in these sugary drinks, I mean, we can talk about the fluoride in the water. We can talk about um, the biphenol, uh, bisphenol A that's in the water and a lot of other things that are in the water. But they will let you, you know, they dismiss that. They use science, ones like Bloomberg, they use science very, very um, selectively, right? Very, very select selectively. But here's what we should um, bring up that let's see if we can get this right here you know all right so on the Bloomberg ban let's start to talk about aspartame let's start to talk about the fact that it's 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 uh, a re-engineered this re-engineered E. coli bacteria that is that that, that is cancer causing is carcinogenic that is that that is killing people yovas so what they want to do actually right what they want to do actually is say well we wanted to kill you slower we don't want it to kill you so fast why not ban um as part of me why not a campaign to to expose the gmos have you ever heard bloomberg even speak out on the gmos i mean there's science that basically proves that these GMOs are harmful to the health of people, right? I mean, this is a proven fact. So this selective use, right, this selective use of, of what to ban, right, this is just smoke screens, right? This is just smoke screens. This is kind of nonsense issues. Yes, it's important what people are putting into their bodies, but where does right, the mayor come off? And, 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 and with the judge halting um, Mayor Bloomberg's uh, a draconian ban, you see, in law, these things are, are set precedents. So the first thing Bloomberg is doing now is he's on the radio. He's going around to the um, different um, local and... and uh, um, national um, news services, and, and besides, he owns Bloomberg News, right? He owns Bloomberg News, and he basically has a, a sizable share in the media. So he can put across his point, right? It doesn't mean that he's going to fool all the people all the time, but he definitely can put across his point. So they're rallying their forces now, right, to come at this whole ban thing, Again, but they really don't care. You understand? This is just a kind of um, 
this is kind of a smokescreen issue. All right, this is a smoke screen issue because what we need to be talking about instead of talking about sugary drinks, right, is these sugary drinks have these artificial sweeteners. And it's the artificial sweeteners that's in these so-called sugary drinks that is most harmful to the people who drink it. Now, if the people were to be really informed about that, then Bloomberg wouldn't even have to be, um, you know, making up this kind of do-gooder campaign. The people would basically um, vote with their dollars. If that was put forward by, say, the health department and the mayor, but of course there's too much business interest because many of these um, – um, genetically modified organisms are being put into the foods. You know, many of these very same genetically modified organisms are being put to into the food. So this whole thing about let's let's see if we can bring this up right here. Yeah, we're talking about GMOs, right? We're talking about Monsanto, right? We're talking about genetically modified foods, genetically modified organisms, and that is the real harm, right, in these sugary drinks. And not just the sugary drinks, they actually put it in, you know, these same sugars, right, these same harmful and toxic sugars, they actually put these same things within um, other food products. And there's a whole big campaign out there, one who has really... Um, been front and center about it is uh, is Infowars, right? And I would suggest go to Infowars Health and the Health Ranger if you really want to know more about it because it's these companies right here. Let's see if we can bring this up for you. It's these companies right here, right? It's these companies right here that op that oppose, right? Uh, it's these companies right here that oppose all labeling, right? Which companies are we talking about? Just so you know them. You see, food security is very, very important. Food security is, is, is so very important, you understand? Not just to your taste buds, right? I mean, for your health, for your state of mind, even for your ability to really be able to understand what is really going on, you know, because people are being dumbed down by even the fluoride in the water. But ones like Bloomberg and his BFF, Bill Gates, they will say that this is just a lot of bad information that's being put out. You understand? Because their companies, you see, they have investment in many of these companies. And you might think, well, if Bloomberg is going against these, um, these sugary drinks, wouldn't that affect... Um, business isn't he kind of like shooting himself in the foot if he's a big time like globalist and he has investment and he's a billionaire and all, all these different companies and so forth and so on maybe but have you thought about it like this that if he's banning a certain size that means people will have to if they want to get um, anything beyond 16 ounces they will have to buy twice. They will have to pay twice, right? So it doesn't really change people's attitudes and values. In fact, most likely more people have been drinking <laughs> these sugary drinks since Bloomberg's, um, um, since Bloomberg has, has been on this uh, um, nanny campaign on sugary drinks. But still, there's no mention about the GMO labeling. Still, there's no mention about the aspartame, the as aspartame that actually is um, um, retro-engineered from E. coli. E. coli is a flesh-eating bacteria. And this is where these artificial sweeteners that are put into not just the big gulp, but it's put into various other foods. So here we see a kind of a list of companies, and, and, and you can steal this, and you can actually look this up, companies that oppose GMO labeling. In California, 
they tried to have this on the as a proposition, I think 37 or proposition, forget which proposition number it was, and people like Bloomberg, right, basically did it that issue. You don't see him climbing on that particular bandwagon. If, if this is a health issue and that's a health issue, ask yourself why the hypocrisy.